Hello everyone, Squintina here and today I will be going over my samurai setup for Endwalker. Anytime I do melee setups, I have to start with this one because of the way I organized the cage. It sets up the direction for all remaining melees, so let's get started. On the primary, we have our weapon skills for our combos. Hakaze, Shifu, and Kasha create the rightmost Sen. Hakaze stays on the right for Shinpu, but goes into the left for Gekko to signify it is the center sin. Hakaze to Yukikaze creates the leftmost sin. This allows the actions to be representative of their order on the gauge, and also defines our rules for flank and rear. On the right we have Kasha, which is flank, so the right side of the primary will be for flank actions for all melee. On the left we have Gekko, which is rear, so the left side of the primary will be for rear actions for all melee as well. We also have Hiaijutsu and Ogenamikiri on the remaining action buttons on the left side. On the D-pad for the right side, we have our stun in the same location as the one for tanks. And we have our two Hisatsus for using up our Kanki gauge, and Shoha at the bottom for using up our meditation stacks. On the left side, Hisatsu Shinten is repeated, Meditate is at the bottom, and Hisatsu Yaten, our jump backwards, is in the same location as Bard's repelling shot. Hisatsu Shinten is repeated because it is used more frequently than the other Hisatsu abilities for weaving, so it just makes the rotation feel smoother. Ogi Namikiri is on both the action button and the d-pad. Since it is a weapon skill, it is best to have it on an action button, however, you will see very shortly why it's also on the d-pad. To do that, let's talk about the expanded, that is left and right together. Here we have our AoE rotation with Fukuoka, with the rightmost Sen, and Fukumangetsu for the middle set. NP goes into our mobility location. If you have seen my various other job setups, I often save the long range attack for square, either on the primary or the expanded, depending on what's available after placing the more important rotational buttons. On the deep end of the expanded, we start off by repeating what we have on the primary with the Hisatsu abilities, but we are using the AoE versions called Guren and Kyuten. Shoha 2 is in the same location as Shoha. This leaves only one spot for Oginamikiri, which can be used for both single target and AoE rotations. This is why I repeated it on the primary so that it can share the same location if you wish to for muscle memory purposes. Now we can head into the double cross hotbar, which you access by double tapping. On the right side we have various patterns shared by other jobs. We have our jump ahead, Hisatsu Gyoten, our gauge resource, Hikishoten, and our anti-knockback arm length. Body mitigation is faint. Samurai doesn't have any body buffs, but Make Your Shisui is effectively a self buff, so we can have the damage buff slot. And then we have Hakagure on the left side of the D pad. Tsubamigaeji is on the left action button. I originally had Tsubamigaeji and Oginamikiri swapped, and that's still an option if you prefer. However, I found having Tsubamigaeji on the double cross hotbar more comfortable as I could directly go into Make Yoshisui. On the left side, we have various supporting role actions via Bloodbath, Second Wind, and True North, and we have Third Eye as an additional support action. We also have our Limit Break and our Consumables. The Super Potion is a placeholder for where I normally would put a tincture. Sprint is on a macro on the right click in button. I have it dragged to a regular hotbar for visibility, which you can do either via mouse or by using the virtual mouse or touchpad. Okay, the explanation is done, here is how to set this up. Character configuration, hotbar settings, cross, then custom, Settings for the expanded I use set to. Settings for the double tap I use set 3. System configuration Gamepad settings Button configuration Macro number 99. So we go into our user macros Individual Last one is 99 for the sprint macro. And just to show the setup again, primary on the right, primary on the left, 
double cross hot bar on the right, double cross hot bar on the left, expanded. If you are using the same settings that I am, you can utilize the macros in the description to set this up automatically. I also like for my gauge to be in the center. Anyway, that is my setup. As always, feel free to change anything as needed. I am not you and it's okay to just use this as inspiration. Before I sign off, do hit that like button and I do enjoy reading your comments to let me know your thoughts. I will see you all for the next one. Bye bye.